Hi there, I'm Dan Finkel. I am one of the creators of Prime Climb, the beautiful, colorful, mathematical game. And I want to talk about that colorful part in this video. Uh, the colors on the board are right there on the box. And if you look at the board, there's a very interesting thing that you see if you take a look at it, which is that every space has a unique color address. It's like it's colored in a way that no other space on the board is covered, uh, colored. And that's actually something very deep and interesting about the colors, about the game, and about the nature of numbers themselves. In fact, it's so central, it's called the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. I want to show you how that works and how you can use it as a guide to help you with the multiplication and division in prime climb. So if you haven't seen the rules yet, I encourage you to look at the rules video or look at the instructions. Uh, and I'll link the rules video underneath this video. But in the course of the game, you will often be in a position where you can multiply or divide. And say you're on the square five and you roll a seven and you want to multiply five times seven, you might know that off the top of your head, but maybe you don't. And if you don't, you may have a guess. Maybe you say, oh, I think that's 35, or maybe that's 40. Well, it turns out that when you actually look on the board, there is only one space that has the blue from the five and the purple from the yellow and nothing else. And that is 35, which is in fact the product of those two numbers. So you can check what the product is by just seeing that those colors line up. What has blue and purple and nothing else? Well, just 35, which is exactly the product of those two things. This works for other products as well. Let's say we want to do seven times nine there we're looking for something that is purple and two green sections. Purple, green, green. Well, you might know what that is, but this is a product that a lot of students often get wrong. What is purple, green, green? Well, whatever you think it is, you can actually check that it is, in fact, 63, because that is the only space on the board that is purple, green, green. Uh, the other nice thing about it is, if you're on 21 and want to multiply times three, well, that's also purple, green, green, that also comes to the same product. And that's what's so interesting about this and the key to using the prime factors for the color scheme, which I will talk about in some uh, later video. But the, the, not only do we have what the products are, but we also have all of the ways to make that final product using pairs of factors. Um, for example, if we took something like 90 uh, let's say your opponent's pawn was on 90 and you wanted to bump them and you wanted to know oh, what what space should I be on to have a shot at multiplying to bump them? Like, can I get there from 16 or 18 or 20? Like, what's a good spot? Well, you can see that also using the colors because any way of separating those colors will give you a pair of factors that multiply together. So it turns out that five times 18 is one of the ways to get to 90. And you can see that because you can see the blue for five, the green, green, orange gives us three times three times two, which is 18. And you can just see that those colors will match together to make 90. In fact, just like multiplication is given by combining colors, we can actually see division by removing colors. If I were on 90 and wanted to do, say, divide by three, I would take one of the green sections out. I would look for something that is just orange, green, blue. And indeed, that's 30, my orange, green, and blue. So the colors in this way give us a way to see every number as, in terms of all its possible pairs of factors, which is a really fun and interesting thing about it. When you're playing prime climb, you can use those colors as a guide for your multiplication and division and also as a check. And it's something that I found makes the game kind of extra fun and gives me a way to see things uh, that I might not have seen before, especially if I'm playing, say, the prime decline variation where I'm trying to go from 101 to zero. It's very easy for me to see what a number is divisible by because I can just see those colors right in there. Uh, these cards, by the way, are going to be part of an upcoming Math for Love product. Uh, I'll link that uh, below this video when it's available. And you can always check mathforlove.com to see what we are cooking up next. I hope you love playing Crime Climb. Uh, and I hope this video helps you see a little bit more of what's going on 
in the color scheme of the game. Thanks.